jungles, one of the most coolest places on earth. Only come about 7% of the Earth's land surface and found in only a warm human place near the equator. They are really important to life here. Biodiversity is vast here in the jungles. For many plants and animals living here and depend on the jungles for survival. Without jungles, life wouldn't exist here. And these animals are so incredible. Three families are called the jungle's home, but so do many animals. And this is where the story takes place in one vast world on Earth. The Congo, a place of mystery and treasure. Some species thrive here, although quite rarely. And that's why it's often mysterious. And species have been treasured. In fact, one of them called the Congo their home. The African Leopard Forest. Leopards have really been found in the Congo, but they do thrive here, including forest. She have been built to thrive within the Congo rainforest. Because leopards like trees, they've been built for climbing. With strong, powerful back legs that can propel them into high places, heavily muscle backs, and strong claws that can easily dig into tree bark. This is one very adaptable animal. Right now, I have to take my peaceful walk through the Congo before the time to my most real attention in life. This is Amy, a three-month cub. She has been hanging in the trees while her mom was away. She depends on force for food and, and will not leave her until she's around two to three years old. Right now, she has all the time in the world to hang out with her mom and depend on her for survival.
for once in an hour. Cause that's the only thing. I thought that's one point to her. It's Amy. And that's a mother's love she will not forget. Big cats do thrive in the jungles, but did you know that we used to live in the jungles? Well, not us. Our closest relatives were born in a group called primates, like us. And while the Congo, where forest thrives, they live here too. Chimpanzees, our closest relatives. Here is George, one of the young chimpanzee in the troop. And here, he clings on to his mother Violet for protection. George, he usually hangs out around Violet for survival, for food, water, everything Violet has to offer. But sometimes, he's all about monkey business. You know, chimpanzees aren't really monkeys. George really likes his mom. Here coming right now is Boss, one of the male chimpanzee of his troop. Everyone knows who he is. So to stay clear and give him the respect he deserves. You don't want to hang out with this guy because he's a mean boss boss. And he's on a lookout something big he does not want to put his troop in danger right now everything seems clear right now so he make it here with his daily routine this chip has a chip but it depends on the area because that's everything they need. Food, water, everything, including protection. Here, they really do not want destroyed. So, watch on the lookout for every threat that comes. In the meantime, Father is showing George everything the area has to offer. And George's love for her mother is a really important thing now. That is about a monkey business. <laughs> a 
Asia is one of the most rarest continents on the planet because there is life we didn't know existed right here, including new species that haven't been discovered yet. But I do know that one of them is actually intelligent and can have feelings like we humans do. And that's why I'll turn very special here in this part of the world, in India. <coughs> Asian elephants related to the African cousins way different, way smaller, while Africans are larger. But they are kind of related to us because they do kind of act like humans. Here, they like to give showers to themselves. <sighs> Clean other elephants sometimes. They always look up one another, like family. <coughs> he was Bertha, the mother of Juno, the elephant calf. Right now, Juno is exploring the real world in front of his eyes, like he's never seen before. Right now, you can out the other elephants, which is cool because you get to know your family. And Bertha's okay with that, as long as it doesn't put him in danger. Here is Harold, the leader of the herd. Sometimes, he may want to play with you, but sometimes, you also need space. Just maybe not today. He's a little busy, like showering. But if you do want to shower, the hell might be all right with giving one to you. But Gino is a little bit scared of showering. Maybe a neighbor must be interested in playtime, like a great lingo. It seems like he wants to groom Juno's trunk. But Juno seems a little ticklish. <laughs> Marcus is so mischievous. But they're so worried because Gina seems more interested in exploring than learning life lessons along the way. She'll be hopeful if Gina will be able to listen to her and learn those life lessons. And also learning that growing up can be tough, especially. Uh, when you're an elephant calf. Let's just hope he understands this, or else you could be in big trouble putting some risk along the way. Gina 
jungles are found everywhere along the equator. In fact, there is one continent that holds the largest jungle of all, South America. And here in South America lies home to the Amazon. At 6.9 square kilometers, 2.72 miles square miles, the Amazon basin is roughly the size of a 40 contiguous United States and comes from 40% of the South American continent. That's very vast. But not only is the land vast, but biodiversity is vast here too, where many plants and animals thrive in here. They call the Amazon their home. The Amazon is a really important place for biodiversity is spreading around. And these species that came here to thrive here and exist here in the rainforest. Like monkeys. Here they hang around here in the forest canopy. Because they're abnormal, meaning they only live in trees. Here, they have to play around, causing mayhem. But sometimes, it's just for fun. These hello monkeys do howl just for fun. And squirrel monkeys, let's say, act like squirrels because their colors go around going around the jungle. Yeah, kind of like a squirrel here. Monkeys are built for the rainforest because it's like trees, they're built for climbing, just, 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 just like other monkeys. And while on trees, they can fight for food while looking out for danger. Harpy eagle. Indeed, a monkey predator. At 36 to 40 inches, the harpy is one of the largest species of eagle. One hell of a the danger, it sounds the alarm. The monkey is going for safety. Yeah?
Lucky Escape. These hello monkeys are one of the loudest animals on the planet. But yeah, you're low enough. Four to five kilometers away. They definitely hear each other for communication. And they will howl when they see danger approaching. And they'll definitely look at the monkeys. Right now, as they see safe right now, these monkeys make it continue on with their business. Back in the Congo, Forrest is busy catnapping. <laughs> As they walk through, through, through the Congo, we walk her down. Sometimes, there are times to get lazy, but others, it's time to be more active. Kind of what Amy thought. She's busy messing with Forrest. So I'm telling her one thing. She is hungry. Want to keep Amy busy, Forrest knows she must hunt. And she gets the signal. Searching through the Congo, Forrest is busy looking for her most favorite prey in her region. And while lovers in Africa do to eat antelopes, water beasts, war hogs, and everything else, she's looking for her most common prey out here. Manjoba baboons. Now that's her lunch. One of Forrest's ultimate weapons is the element of surprise.
what I told you. Element of surprise. Hopefully this lunch will keep Amy busy for a while while she catnaps again. The version we planned just failed. Oh well. She's only a cub. She's just willing to play for me right now. And now, back to catnapping. <laughs> 